Hey guys, so last time applying the decals, I let those dry for a good 24 hours and I even heated them up with a hair dryer before moving on to clear coating. And obviously just the normal route, do the hard to reach, easy to forget spots first and then move on to uh, gradually going up on the body towards the roof. And of course, just like any other time, I'm spraying with my Harder and Steinbeck 2-in-1 Evolution, a 0.4mm needle and a Eurotech 20A air compressor set at 2.4 bar or 35 psi. In this first coat, I'm not just going to hammer on the clear, I'm going to start slow and add a sort of tack coat for the second and third coat to stick to and bite onto. And this also helps seal the decal in because sometimes if you just hammer the clear onto the decals it could still be moving, warping, shrinking and cracking the clear. So um, by just slowly building it up you're not attacking it all at once and it has a bit more time to breathe in the clear and uh, adhere to it. So with that in mind just move slowly around the body and give it a nice even coat and don't go for the extreme gloss in the first coat as you're going to apply at least one or two coats after this that will get the desired gloss. With the first coat applied, let it dry for about 5 minutes. Don't let it dry too long as the clear might start to harden. And with you adding the next coat on top of that could create problems. So 5 minutes, not too long, then moving on to the second coat. This can be a bit heavier than the first coat as uh, the decals are already sealed in a bit and it can handle a bit more. So now you can start working towards that extreme glossy finish. With the panels on this body being so large, I like to pull the airbrush back a bit more than I usually do, just like on the color coats and on the primer coat to get even coverage, and just pull the fan all the way open with the maximum amount of clear coming out, but don't go too slow, move along quickly and make an even coat. Uh, if you go too slow, you will obviously overload it and create runs, so be careful, but just pull it a bit further away and uh, give it all you've got. With the body now all nice and evenly coated, it's time to move on to the third and final coat. Again, letting it dry for five minutes in between and then just pretty much giving it all you've got, hammering the clear on to the point where it's almost gonna run, but then it's obviously not because you don't want it to run. Um, in doing that, you just load it up and get the extreme gloss you desire. If you're paying close attention, you will see that my speed is slowed down drastically and I'm still spraying the same amount of clear that I was on the second coat but then just loading it up a bit more on the first pass and then going over it because I wasn't totally satisfied with uh, the shininess to uh, load it up even more and then it will pull back, shrink back and tighten itself up to an extremely nice gloss.
and that's pretty much all you need to know for clear coating over decals. Now I let it dry for at least 48 hours before moving on to assembling, detailing and finishing off this build. That's it for this one, check out the scale modeler. Also don't forget to give me a like on Facebook, questions or suggestions, shoot me an email or post a comment. And of course, as always, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.